Right. So Exo, Cat, and I were talking about this a little bit about uh, how pan is preserved through transition. So as you can see, I'm sort of uh, panning my camera. I'm going to call it pan from now on. Uh, and it's preserved. So like if I take like the left side here, uh, my mouse is pointing over here. And if I take sort of the right side of this door, I'm actually angled further to the right. Yeah. So that sort of range is preserved. Now the discussion was whether or not the pan that is brought into the next transition is the pan at the moment that you click into the transition. So like, no matter what, uh, you know, if I click here, no matter how my camera is moving, it's always going to preserve it that way. Whereas XO seemed to think that uh, it mattered whatever pan was whenever you were resulting, because you can actually sort of whip your camera and have it continue going after you click. So let's do a little bit of an experiment here. This is about the furthest to the right that you can click into this transition, and you end up here, right next to this beam here. So let's try whipping the camera and clicking and seeing if we can get further than that. If you can get further than that, then we know that it's more extreme than wherever you click it from. So that was good, I think. Oh. Oh no, I just clicked off the screen. <laughs> Try that one again. There we go, okay. And look at that. We are very slightly off to the side, past where you would expect. Um, I'll try to get a more extreme example to show off better what this would be used for in this particular instance, although you wouldn't use this in this instance because there's no point where you wanna make this transition back. Again, this is hard, obviously, because what you're trying to do is you're you're trying to hit a moving target. There we go. Yeah, so this is a much more extreme example where now I'm on the side of this beam instead of this beam. So this is sort of useful when you're doing with standard movement because it means you can do more panning in an earlier transition to have to do less panning in a previous one or whatever, although it tends to be a lot riskier. What I imagine this would be a lot more useful for is if you do a transition to somewhere and it force pans you, right? Uh, so many examples include anything and everything to do with Yisha, right, or Atrus in the beginning, where you enter the transition, it preserves your pan, and then you pan down to the left or down to the right over to Yisha or Atrus or whatever. Uh, using this whip pan strategy, you can potentially avoid as much of that as possible uh, by forcing your pan further to the left or further to the right than the game would normally let you. So, shoutouts to Exo for finding this out. I was pleasantly surprised and very wrong about this. And uh, I'm glad that I could find out with relatively easy experience.